Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kingdom. This is Kang, and we are back yet again with another Animal Crossing video. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video, then make sure you do it because we just started an Animal Crossing giveaway. Yes, we are giving away two copies of Animal Crossing. So if you know anyone, a friend, a family member, a cousin who doesn't have the game yet but would like it, then this is their opportunity. It's very simple to enter, so make sure you check it out and tell your friends about it. But anyway, we are back yet again, and we are continuing where we left off from yesterday, so let's just get right into it. So, Tom Nook. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 7.10 p.m. on Thursday. Now, for today's news, ta-da. Today, Kingdom has its very own museum. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. The museum. It's a grand... Oh, he said, oh, yes, too. It's a grand museum indeed with separate exhibits for insects, fish, and fossils. Blathers, the museum curator, says he's always available to accept donations or assess fossils. And museum admission is free, so stop by whenever you like. Also, my staff, Timmy and Tommy, open up their new shop today. Yeah, we did, we did a lot of stuff yesterday, guys, so check out that video. Um, it's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to better your island life. Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop box to sell your items. One more thing. Whoa, whoa. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to the Nook Shopping. Okay, I, okay, okay. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've retained to purchase. Any mass marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's Cranny. By the way, whenever we cover big developments like this, we'll hold a special co commemorative ceremony afterwards. We'd like as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by the resident service if you're interested. Oh, a phone call. What? I don't remember this. What's, what's going on? One moment, please. Hello? This, this is Tom Nook from Nook Incorporated, yes? What, the getaway package? Why, yes, yes, of course. And that's all for today's Island Wide broadcast. Time to go to make hell in business. Oh, sorry to put you in hold. I'm gonna give you a full overview of the... <laughs> oh man, he's a, he's a, he's like a, he's like a mafia boss. Hell in business, right in the middle of announcement. Trying to swindle someone else. All right, well, anyway. All right, so first things first, we got some mail here. Let's see what we have. Oh, Daisy May. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now because we have um, because we have the Nook's Cranny, we can buy turnips. So that's going to be cool. Hey, wait a minute. We have some Nook Miles. Let's see what we have. Okay, active island life. Three days. Hey, we've been here for three days. Cool. Cool, what else we have? Um, Right, wait, I have a new DIY recipe. Oh, yeah, all this stuff I haven't looked at yet. Okay, cool. Hedges. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we have blathers at the museum now. So I'm going to grab all this stuff that I've been keeping, and we're going to take it to him to donate. So I will see you guys over there. All right, our first look inside the museum. This is the, uh, the standard museum. It's not upgraded yet. But here it is. Let's talk to Blathers and donate all this stuff. See what Blathers has to say first, and then we'll donate. If it isn't Kane, at long last, the Kano Museum is open this very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible. So to you, I say thank you. Now, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the fine institution's floor plan. You'll find there are entrances to the left, to the right, and to the basement. Each one leads to exhibit rooms wherein the donations collected thus far have been put on display. That's right, I have more good news to report. That is, dona the donation process has been streamlined. We will accept multiple donations all at once. Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil, a fish, or a bug, I suppose, simply say, tell me about this. Hesitate not, I will happily oblige. Now, by all means, do, do please take a gander at our magnificent collection. It is surely a thing of wonder. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and donate the stuff to Blathers. And then I'm going to quickly take a look around the museum and see what all we have in, uh, already. All right. All right. So we're here in the fish, the fish section of the museum. This is one of my favorite sections of the museum. 
and um for good reason it's just so peaceful with the water flowing and the backgrounds once they fill in they all look amazing the backgrounds fill in once you have a certain number of fish uh, i'm not sure what the criteria exactly is but right now we have a couple you know we have uh let me see if i can guess what these a carp and a dace Ooh, my fish knowledge on point this is where the goldfish usually are but there's none in there right now we have a uh a lobster that's about it wait there's another one here wait a minute wait a minute um a loach uh-huh yep yep nothing in here right now but that's okay we'll fill it up soon all right nothing in this area as well but again we will fill it up actually there is something here that is a is that a carp i'm thinking that's a carp let's take a look oh horse macro okay i kind of forget about the horse macro every now and then but yeah horse macro is there anything over here we haven't caught many things yet especially some of the you know the rare fish have not caught any of those yet even when it was raining i tried to catch a silicanth but uh that did not go through uh let's go to the other area on the other side all right not much going on over here either oh hey this looks nice so we have uh the clownfish and and that's it <laughs> what's down here well okay red red snapper we got a um another red snapper we got a dab uh olive flounder a zebra turkey fish sea bass and i think oh squid squid as well yeah i think that's it yeah cool all right making progress making progress let's let's go check out the bugs Blathers absolutely hates bugs, but you know what? I, I, I'm not too fond of them myself, to be honest, but I don't hate them. Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> Actually, there's probably not very many bugs that I would say I'm, I like, like, even the ones that people claim to enjoy, like, but, like butterflies. I'm like, eh, I'm okay. Please keep it away from me. But we have a butterfly there. I think that's a... Is that a tiger butterfly or just a regular yellow butterfly? Might be a tiger. Um, I think we had a, okay, we have a wasp there as well. We have something here. Um, oh, is, is, is that the wasp? I think that's the wasp. Okay. Is there be anything back here? A hermit crab. Nice. Nice. This is a tiger butterfly. Paper Kai Butterfly. And we have a moth back here as well. And do you see that? Nice. Do, do, do. Cricket and a grasshopper. Anything else? Oh, we need a tarantula. Um, This is a moth. Yes, I indeed. Man, I should study animals or something. Snail, some more butterflies, okay. Very nice, very, very nice. Let me see. Yeah, tiger butterfly, those are tiger butterflies. So we got the white butterfly, or I think those are just called butterfly, or maybe common butterfly. Yeah, there we go, common butterfly, yellow butterfly, and we got some snails, nice. All right, let's go take a look at the, uh, the fossils now. All right, in my, um, in my Twitch playthrough, I'm pretty close to um, getting all the fossils. Just missing a couple. Right now, we're missing a lot. We're missing a whole ton, but, you know, granted, this is only our, our third day, so it's to be expected. But it'll be filled up. We have some cool ones, though. Okay. Nice, nice. I highly doubt we have anything that's full at this very moment. But, you know, we're getting there. Okay, let's take a look over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nothing over here. I wonder if this uh, this little Easter egg is still here, even though we don't have the uh, the thing. Hey, it is. See, so, yeah, when you stand here, uh, it lights up, basically saying that this is going to be you. So 
Um, I think there is like a primate skull down there. Um, so yeah, I guess Nintendo is like evolution. <laughs> so yeah. All right. We also have Nook's Cranny open. So let's hop on over to there. I'm going to go ahead and warp myself directly to there. This is a hidden ability in the game. A lot of people have not unlocked yet, but check it out. Watch. Oh, hey, Maple's here already. Wow. Okay. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice, even though we haven't been here all that long. And it's a short time Blathers has moved in and we were able to open it up this shop. Experiencing new things every day has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check on to check in on you and see if you need assistance with anything. It is our way of celebrating your new shop, you know. We sisters like to help whenever we can. Any Alien deals come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. What is overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us? Visit us. <laughs> oh, hey, I think. Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having a shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that. But we still need a clothing supplier. I need clothing. I definitely need clothing. Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every, every so often and sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that settled, I should head home and work out all the details of my sister. Who is her sister? Please do that. We can't wait to see you here again. All right. Hey, how are you? <laughs> okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. See your help. We've opened this amazing shop. Our, our shop is named uh, in honor of our beloved President Nook. Of a shop our beloved President Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have flooring and wallpaper. We hope to fulfill all your shopping needs. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, okay. We already have a toy box here. We got a, uh, what is a mixer? Some plants, a vacuum. Let's take a look at the wallpaper and flooring. Okay, we can buy tools, of course. We can buy roses. Nice. Yellow roses and white roses. Not my preference, but um, test your DIY skills. Do I have this already? Uh, what is this? Test you obtain recipes that require a variety of materials. I don't know if I have this or not. I don't. Wait a minute. I'll pass. Okay. I, I don't. I, 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 I don't think I have that. I don't, I don't think I have that, but you know what? We do need to buy the upgraded tools. We have 3,000 miles now, so we can go buy that once we're out of, once we're out of here. Um, ooh, cute, cute paint flooring. Simple red, blue paint, common flooring. Um, let's see, what could I get for my house? Let's get this cute paint flooring. That might be cool, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get that. Uh, is, is the common flooring what I have in the house right now? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But let's get this. Yes, buy it. Let's all, oh no no I don't want to I don't I don't need to at least not right now. Um, common flooring that sounds like what I already have in the house so I'm not gonna buy it. Maybe, but all right let's go. Um, I don't think I want anything now because I don't have a kitchen I don't have a playroom. Um, no need for a vacuum. I mean maybe we can get a plant. Let's get the plant. Yucca. Oh, it's expensive. Sure. Okay. Jeez. All right. Well, uh, let's go check out what Tom Nook wants us to do today. Oh, Nook is still on the phone. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package, including a lovely furnished home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your moving date at a later time. No trouble at all. I just need to drop a proper contract. Understood. We'll get back to you very soon. Thank you. Nook is handling business. 
Kang, sorry to keep you waiting. I, uh, suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Kingdom YT getaway package. You wouldn't, you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Uh, that's great. This is quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fun of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. is just too much for one raccoon. Uh, so let me guess you want me to do it. Bright idea, yep. But Kang, here you are in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course I will have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Um, yeah, as if I have a choice. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're gonna need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me with the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out, this is fun. All right, so we gotta, huh, it's a lot of stuff we're gonna have to do. So let's go ahead and get the instructions from him. Oh, wrong button. Okay, what should I do? Yep, so you already helped me prepare. Building a bridge, hey, so we gotta build a bridge across the river. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land. Okay, a bridge open up things a bit and make it easier for us to get housing plots during construction. All right, all right, so great. Prime location for a bridge. I already have the location. We're gonna make a bridge going over to our Nook's Cranny. If you remember last episode, we built the Nook's Cranny across the river in the middle of the island because I thought that was a good idea. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we need to build this bridge first. What uh, does this require? Uh, let's see here. Log stakes, clay. Oh man, I dropped the clay. I had a bunch of clay and I dropped it. And stone, okay, so we have stones. We need log stakes though. And that requires wood. Well, we may be able to make that actually. You need four of them? Yeah, we can do that. Let's go, uh, uh, actually, yeah, okay. I need more wood probably. But <laughs> this shouldn't be too difficult to make. Uh, we need like one more piece of wood. So yeah, and one more piece of iron apparently. So we can get that done. But first, let's check in here and see if we can get these upgraded tools. Um, here we go. What was it? Pretty good tools recipes? Yes. Thank you. Redeem. All right, so now we can make the iron tools, I think. Nice. Let's double check. Boop. Yep, so we have the uh, the stone axe, the iron axe, the regular shovel, the fishing rod, the net, and the watering can. Nice, we're moving up in the world. Moving up in the world. So, um, next thing we gotta do is just gather some materials. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna think a pit stop by my house and see what all I have and also, you know, put the new thing that I bought from Nukes Cranny in my house. So let's go ahead and get over there. All right, here is my humble abode. Uh, let's see here, we have this, this yucca. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, that I just bought. Let's put that over there, bam. No, this poster on the wall, let's try to center that a little bit. Not sure why I didn't center it the first time. Let's put that like right there, there we go, bam, perfect. Okay. That's too low. Nah, it's perfect. Um, we also got, I, I don't remember getting this the first time I did this, but we got a broom and a dustpan and we also got a, um, a towel basket. Yeah, I don't remember getting that, but I mean, it's cool, I guess. But we can put this broom and dustpan somewhere. Like, uh, I, I guess right here. I think this hangs on the wall. Yeah. Bam. Perfection. Um, let's take this and put it outside. Cause that would make more sense. All right, so I don't, I have a, oh, I, oh, okay. I have enough uh, clay, so that's good. I have enough clay. So we don't have to worry about getting more clay. Let's get this fossil. I can donate to blathers while I'm out. Um, we have some weeds. We have some bags. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna need to do, let's craft some better tools. And then also, since we have an ax now, I can start chopping down some trees and getting them out of the way. 
because uh, a lot of these trees are kind of in the way of you know, way too many trees also what i noticed here is their houses are upgraded now so let's go take a look inside see what's going on let's pay them a visit hey cat i remember now yeah their houses the, the first villagers that move into your island their houses are like so depressing they have like nothing in it no music playing furniture make yourself at home okay Oh, hey, big news. I have officially moved on from tent life. I got a house. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in the house. Plus, now it finally feels like I'm actually, I am actually actually live here instead of just roughing it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're, you're still kind of roughing it, not gonna lie. Still kind of roughing it. Yeah, I think congrats on the house. Gotta invite you over soon. Let's see if they have anything, anything special. Leafs. Yeah, they mentioned leaf, but leaf is not here. What's up? Let's talk. You got this garden. All right. Okay. Cute flowers. I should have said rare flowers. Whoops. Okay. All right. So I just want to see if they will say anything. Let's go visit uh, Axel, our Mr. Elephant guy. Hey, Axel. What is going on? Uh, very depressing room, but <laughs> let's talk. Come to my top secret hideout, wonk. Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I now have a house. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can find new jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's talk one more time. Which sport would you rather play with your buddies? Probably b basketball, I guess. Basketball is definitely all about the team, but you can also rise as a top as a superstar. Nothing better than showing off those dunking skills. You should know. Uh... Uh, I guess Axel's thinks he can fly with those ears, maybe. Okay. First things first. Let's put my bench back outside because we're going to be using that. Uh, where is it? There we go. Um, let's do that. And we're going to gather the materials that we need to go ahead and craft the axe. Craft. Pretty much craft everything that we need. Um, and then... The final frontier is obviously crafting that bridge to see what the next step in the process is. But we have stuff to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start gathering a few materials. And we'll meet back up here in a second. Okay. So I went ahead and crafted all the tools I need. So I have the, the net. I have a regular shovel or a regular axe. The stone axe because I don't want to chop down all my trees. I made that mistake on my old island. Um, and we have the watering can and the fishing rod. So we're all set to go. So we're going to have to gather up the things that we need to make the... Well, first we need to make the, the log stakes. So we need uh, a little bit more wood um, because we need four of them. Actually, we have enough wood to make these. So I'll just make those right now. But we also need... Let's see. We need... Um, uh, I think that's all we need, actually. <laughs> we need to make these log stakes and then we can put the bridge down. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. All right, here we go. Bridge construction kit. All done for now. I hear a balloon. I really got to make a, uh, what you call it? A slingshot. <laughs> we don't okay yeah we're gonna make a slingshot we're definitely gonna gather the materials we need to make a slingshot but first let's see what we have here okay we have that um so i think this they want us to make fencing okay that's easy to do so we'll make some fencing and uh, we have something here diy furniture thank you for the miles bam so the next thing we need to buy is the um the thing that allows us to quickly switch tools on the fly that is paramount makes it a lot easier for me some people don't use that i definitely use it because it's a lot easier oh my flowers are in the way okay let's let's dig up these roses really quickly and then we'll put the bridge um right here so we can get over to our nook's cranny so let's do that let's do that bada bing bada boom easy okay all right and then let's go ahead and slap down this bridge construction kit. Let's see how it looks. That what? What did it say? There's no river, it said. Wait, let me stand closer. Okay, there we go. Um, that is not 
centered. Let me try to get it a little bit better here. There we go. Uh, still not centered. One, th third time the charm. Here we go. Over a little bit right here. Bam. I bet it's perfect. Watch. Watch. Okay, it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Patience. Patience is a virtue. I think this is good. As, I think over here is as good as we're going to get, unfortunately. Let's do that. Do we have to pay for this? I hope we don't have to pay for this. Uh, let me imagine it. Oh, it is censored. Kind of. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Bam. Nice. Let the land. Oh. Almost made a mistake there. You see? You see? We're almost ran on my roses. All right. Let's uh see. Let's go report back to Tom Nook and see what else he wants us to do. I think we're going to have to start making those houses. And that's going to require a lot. So that was that was like the trickiest part of everything is gathering all the materials and, and whatnot you need to do these three houses. But let's go find out. Kane, hello, hello. So did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? Yep. Excellent work, thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want, or just ask me what should I do. We're gonna get it all done today, Nook. We got time. We have time. Well, what should I do? Let's go. Bridge on the end tomorrow, but you want to start on the homes now? Yes. Please take these three housing kits. All right. So this is gonna be very important, okay? With these housing kits I just gave you, we'll pick out lots for three homes. And of course, these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required for his house, so be ready to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me uh, just send you the recipes you'll need. Okay, nice. Maybe it's the same things. It's probably it's probably the same things we made the first time in our first playthrough. I wonder. I'll check it in a second. Let's do that. Ooh, 50. Nice. Should I go ahead and get the... I'm going to go ahead and get it. Let's get the uh, the quick switcheroo thing, Mababber. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, redeem Nook Mouse. It is... It is... This. Here we go. Tool ring. Redeem. Thank you. So now what I'm going to do is I need to save up my Nook Mouse because once we get these houses down, we're going to have to go to islands to find villagers. And I want... To get some cool villagers i'm talking about i'm talking about bob i'm talking about raymond i'm talking about judy i need some cool people I need some cool people on my island my my twitch island my villagers they're lame okay i'm just gonna say it. they're lame <laughs> so we need some cool people on this here island all right let's, is there anything in here no Let's go, uh, let's see what we need for these houses. Let's put them down and then we'll go from there. So this is a very big decision here. I need to make sure I put these houses in the correct location so I don't have to move them later. So they need to be lined up perfectly, just like these two are. I managed to line these up perfectly, I think. These are. This is perfect, I think. So we gotta do the same thing for these other houses. So I think we're gonna do, um, let me look at the map really quick. We can do a rows of four. Yeah, because we have one, two, then we can do another row. It's, it's gonna end up being more. So we yeah, that's fine, that's fine. If it, ends, if it ends up being like five or six per row, then that is fine, I think. Um, but for now, we'll do two rows. We'll do the first row and then we'll drop down a little bit, do the second row. Um, so we'll have one house right next to Alex's house or Axel's. Alex, we'll put his house here. Whoa, that is very big. Okay, wait a minute. Should I? No. Okay, the house is way too far back. So we gotta imagine that they need a front yard. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Let's back up quite a bit here. Like, no, well, not too much. Like right here, maybe. Let's see. That may work. This may work. Let me imagine it. Uh, 
Um, I think that's good. No, right? Maybe. Yes. Um, let me rethink it. Let's 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 back up just a little bit. Let's, I mean, let's move forward like a couple steps and see if it still looks good. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Imagine it. I'm going to be so upset if I don't get this right. Um, but I think this is probably it. We're going to say this is it. Alright, okay. Okay. My phone is ringing. Hello, is this Kane? Yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? Um... This guy, I've got some ideas. Okay, all right. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. So, basically, we'll, he's saying uh, there's, if we check this list here, there's three things that need to go on the inside and three things that need to go on the outside. Hair wardrobe, pair of bed, and a pot. And then, let's see here, what's on the outside? Um... Hay bed, swinging bench and bear. Okay, so this sounds like some of the same things that we did on my old island, minus the hair stuff because the old island had oranges. So makes sense. All right, let's put this other house right right here. See if we can line it up properly. Let's see here. Nope, too close. Try that again. Um. It probably could be closer. Let me uh, move over a little bit. Like right here, maybe. Dang it. Come on now. Alright. Over, over, over. Right here. Um, imagine it? Alright. That looks good to me. If it's not good, then... Whoops. Phone is ringing. Kane? It's me again. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of uh, pretty flowers run up on the cliffs of the island. So toot up there if you need to. Recipe for the ladder. Hey, we got the ladder. Nice. Great. Wait, he just sent it to us like just now? Oh, he just, just, wow, okay, he just sent it to us. Okay, so yeah, these are all things that we, uh, oh, I don't remember this, the wooden bucket. These are all things that we got in the last playthrough besides this pear stuff. The pear stuff is new. Oh, rose wreath. Okay, cool. All right. These, yeah. Yeah, perfect. This is good. This is good. This is good. All right, so for the last one, actually, let me check out the map, bottom right. Let's take a look here. Let's take a closer look. I wonder if I should put these houses, yeah, hey, let's put these houses behind. So we'll put them. Oh dang! But my um, my flowers are here. I mean, we're probably not going to have the flowers here. This is a, a temporary location. But we can put. I don't want to put it too close to my house, obviously. Eh, we'll put it here. They have to deal with it. Let's see. Uh, I don't think that's lined up. But let me imagine it. This is a good spot? No. Let's go over a little bit. Like right, just a little bit. Let's get let's try to get closer. I don't want to mess up my uh the rose I have already put down though. Uh this, this seems like it might work. Eh, it seems like it might work. Let's go with that. Sure. Sure. Okay. Probably could have been a little bit closer, but we have all that space in the front, too. Oh, dang. You know, this is right in front of the bridge. Mmm. Oh, mistakes. That's fine. We'll, we'll, um, we'll probably put a house here. Oh, you know what we can do? Yeah. I have an idea. So, there's a bridge here. We'll put a house on each side of the bridge. So, on either side of the bridge. and have, like, a little walkway coming through. 
and then the walkway splits and then it goes it wraps around the houses mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you seeing what I'm seeing you seeing what I'm seeing you're picking up what I'm putting down I know you are all right but that'll be fine next thing we gotta do is build all this furniture so it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff um and I'm imagining we gotta build like it pretty much gotta build one of each of, of all these things but we're gonna do go from house to house just to make sure so I'm gonna finish I'm gonna spend the next I don't know how long gathering materials and then I will be back once I have the things crafted okay all right, so I've started uh, chopping down trees and clearing out section. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, making the island look like what I might want it to look like in its final form. Um, obviously, that's going to be a long time from now. But I cleared out the pathway from my airport to my uh, resident services. So I'm thinking about what I would like to do here. As you can see, I dug all these holes because I'm, I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe, maybe, what if I line this little pathway with trees all leading to the resident services and then i also thought okay what if i did bushes instead shrubs like put a whole bunch of shrubs on either side of of the walkway we can have shrubs going all the way down um or we could even have a hedges there's like so many different ideas that that i'm that i'm thinking of right now uh, obviously i'm nowhere near that yet but i'm thinking of what i could do here but let me know what you think I'm probably not gonna do it tonight. Excuse me, Axel. Is my Axel? Can you move? I'm probably not going to do it tonight, but give me some ideas about what you think we could do with this, um, because this is a long runway, and this is kind of what I wanted, kind of what I wanted on my on my Twitch island that I could not achieve, because uh, my resident service was literally right outside <laughs> of the airport. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go back to chopping down. Uh, trees, getting wood, and hidden rocks. I'll be, I'll check you guys out in a second. So I already put the items for the interior inside. That was the pear wardrobe, pear bed, and a pot. And now I have the exterior items. So we have a barrel. Let me slap that right there. Okay. He also wants a uh, a swinging bench. Okay. Um, this is kind of big, but we'll uh, let's see where we can put this. Let's move that like right here. Sure. I'm going to cut down these trees. Yeah. And he wants a hay bed. We'll put the hay bed here. I wonder what it count because it's kind of near someone else's house. But we'll put it over. Oh, no. That's not what I want. Right here. There we go. All right. Let's see if, let's see if you like it. Check exterior. Yes. All the interior and exterior items for this home are ready to go. Bam. Okay. Let's check on the second one. The second one needs. Second one needs. Wooden stereo block. Wooden block table. Or wooden block stereo. Wooden block table in a rose wreath. And then the exterior. Needs. Um, iron garden chair. Table in a birdhouse. Okay. Let's go grab these things. Well, let's go grab the materials and we'll go craft. We just crafted the last things we need for the second house, uh, which were the, the birdhouse, uh, the iron garden chair, and the iron garden table. So let's go ahead and place the birdhouse like back here. That should be fine, right? Hopefully. And the table and the chair out here. This is basically like a tutorial. To teach you how to craft furniture and place it around outside, inside, all that fun stuff. Let me go ahead and you teach you how to decorate. Now that I've been playing the game for a little bit, this is essentially what it's doing. All right, so that should be good. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hopefully, uh, check exterior. Yes, bam, nice. All right, so we have one more to go. Let's go check what it needs over here okay interior wooden simple bed wooden chair and classic picture and then finally um let's see log dining table log bench and wooden bucket all right let's go ahead and craft these things and we'll see you in a moment we have the last items for the last house actually 
Let's go. Actually, no, this is just for the interior. My bad. Oh, no, this is for the exterior. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm thinking I was making stuff for the interior. This is it. This is it. We're done. Uh, we got to put it down, though. So let's put the table. Um, let's put the table out here and also the bench. Let's do that. So it's with the logging table. They also want the logging bench. Let me back up a bit. And uh, let's do that. Okay, we need to move this over a bit. Yes. And a bucket. I'll put the bucket over here. Why not? Yeah, why not? And we're good. Let's talk to the box. Check exterior items. Yes. Done. Bam. This means... All the home and furnishing prep work is done. Let's go back and talk to Nook. Actually, let me show you guys a little, a little something, something before I head over there. I've been, I've been clearing out and picking up weeds as I've been doing this entire process. So, as you can see, my house is looking a little bit nicer now. There's not a lot of trees by, and I chopped down some trees over here as well. Um, we're kind of making the area look a little bit, you know, habitated. If we go over in this direction. Again, uh, over by Nook's Cranny, I picked up all the weeds, shot down a few of the trees, so that it looks a little bit better as well. Obviously, I'm not gonna do up on the cliffs and whatnot yet, but where there are things, we are making it look like something. We don't have we don't have a lot of furniture and whatnot right now, DIYs and uh, just catalog furniture. But I'm starting to go around and you know move the excess trees i'm not gonna chop down a lot of trees like i did on my old island because i found out that you know well i i, I found that having some trees around is actually good just for the the natural look i chopped down like all my trees on my old island and yeah it was yeah i, I regret it <laughs> i regret it but anyway let's go talk to tom nook and tell him that we're done Kang, YT, how things been going since we last spoke? Everything is finished. Really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. I'll get started on home construction right away so we can welcome our new island residents. I vow to get this done quickly and get it done right. If it all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in or out during I My Island broadcast. However, once I know who will move in a certain home, I'll post the information on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. And that's that, and that's that, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Let me give you a token of my appreciation and promise. What's he giving me? He's getting kind of close. What, what's going on here? H Hello? What's, what's happening? Oh, a fence! It's some fencing. You can surround your home to create a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or park or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Kingdom. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wooden fence should give you an excellent start. In the future, offer some DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nook. Right, we just, they just zoom us out. That was weird. All right. <laughs> Let's talk to him one more time, see if there's anything else we can do today, but probably not. That is a question. Uh, ceremony? Nah, I don't have time for a ceremony, Nook. I don't have time for that. Let's check our Nook's uh, our uh, Nook stop really quick. Let's see if he has those fences. Oh, he does have the fencing in here already. He said in the future. He didn't say today, but here they are. You know, what we're gonna have to start doing though, since we have these houses that are ready for people to move into. We are going to have to start looking for villagers. And I almost have enough Nook Miles to get a, a Nook Miles ticket. So, I mean, he could put some random people in the houses, which he is going to do, um, you know, day after day. But I kind of would like to go find some. So, we need a lo lot of Nook Miles tickets. But, yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that later. But thank you guys. Oh, we have a bench here now. Okay, nice. So they can sit down. But thank you guys so much for watching the video i do appreciate it um if you like the video make sure you should smack the like button if you're new to the channel you can subscribe and make sure you follow us on twitch as well because we're gonna be doing we, we've been streaming animal crossing every single day so you can definitely join us for that content all right but thank you guys and i will see you in the next video take care guys and peace out bye